Welcome to a new travel destination with Java Walker World. Today we start the first day of our three-day holiday in Lisbon, Portugal. Join us as we explore traditional Portuguese food, visit the famous cobblestone streets and town squares of Lisbon. Welcome to Lisboa, Portugal. This is where we're staying, Hotel Chiado. It looks really nice and old inside. Oh, you can see the way it looks. And this is the town square we're in. Looks like a really trendy spot. Just to give you a little quick view of where we are. And it looks like the subway might be here too. I don't know what... Yeah, the metro. Which goes right down that way. It looks like those streetcars come through here as well. So very cool. Frank's dying for a coffee and a relaxing time. We've been on the road all morning. Check out this fella. <laughs> No. No, madame. Hey. No. Pay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, pay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. We'll get Por you favor. later. No, madame. Uh, now. We'll take care of this funny fellow a little later, but first we need to check into our hotel. Chiado. Was it Chiado Hotel, which is, I think, an area, like a town square area. So we're going to explore. Friends are just checking in. It's early. So we're going to just leave our bags and go and then we'll, you know how it goes. Right, it's to meet. Nice to meet. Ah, madame. Madame. Oh. Oh, how sweet. Oh, madame. Oh. Madame, madame. Oh. Yeah, so this is quite exciting. There we go. The streetcars are already here. And this is the subway stop oh, right here. Subway. Wow, it's supposed to be a rainy day, but look how beautiful it is. First impressions are great, eh? Oh my gosh, yeah. This could put my wallet in the front. Yes, <laughs> keep your wallet close to you. I want to be able to take to my you. wallet home. Yes. Big cities, you know, pickpockets and... Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to keep a close eye on your purse and your wallets in a busy place like this. We have friends that were in Lisbon and... He got swindled real quick, so let's go to that keep one. an eye. It seems like it's yeah. quiet enough. We can get our. We're gonna go have a coffee. First coffee is gonna be right here at Pestralia Bernard, founded in 1868. Little did we realize it was gonna be our favorite restaurant to spend some time in. We were there a lot because it was attached to the hotel, and it was the people there were very friendly. Well, now that we've had our coffee, let's go and do some exploring. A short walk away from our hotel in Chiadu, we find ourselves in Praça Municipio, or Municipal Square. It's exactly where the City Hall of Lisbon is located and a bunch of other municipal buildings. Lovely square. The Museum of Money. Lisbon City Hall. Oh, we just walked down from there. It didn't seem too bad, but then we were coming down, not going up. But uh, Frank and I, as we were walking through there, we were saying to ourselves, wouldn't it be nice to have an apartment here? <laughs> do you do that as well? Envision yourself in a faraway land? Beautiful square, municipal square. Well, that didn't take long. Here we are in Praça do Comércio, which is Commerce Square, the most famous square in all of Lisbon. And let's share that with you now.
try these codfish cakes. Frank's gonna buy one and see what it tastes like. This is what they look like. The Canning Museum, you know that Portugal is very famous for their canned um, fish. And this is where this place is that has this codfish cakes. And we're gonna buy one and see what it tastes like. One with cheese, one with cheese, and one with So, Frank's ordering the bacalao pastels, the bacalao, which is cod cakes. And he's ordering one with cheese and one without cheese. So you get one with the cheese and one straight with the color. And there is the price. See, this is the cheese here. What type of cheese is it? Cheap? Oh. That's why I only got the one with the... Yeah. Well, they're made with love, for sure. These big chairs should try these out. Actually. Ooh, they smell very good. They smell very fresh. It looks so fresh. this this one here is the one. Which one is the one that had the cheese? The one with the label had the cheese. The one with the label has the cheese. The one without the label is it's with just, just the fish. Is, They're pretty big. They're pretty big. And so, I would imagine it's filling too. So it's cod and potato is what it is. So let's try it. Looks like a potato. They're pretty big. They're pretty. Very nice. It's good. Have you tasted the cheese yet? The cheese is mixed in it. I think it's in the center. The cheese no. is oozing from the center. I think the cheese is just mixed in with the cod. Okay, let me try. Good, it's very mild. This lovely lady is trying to signal Frank to get off of the bench because he's going to break an antique. <laughs> There's the cheese. Oh, you got the cheese? Yeah, and the cheese is good. And I don't like goat's cheese, but this was goat's cheese, right? Yeah, goat's cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Here you go, you finish that one. Got the cheese? Mm -hmm. That's good? Mmm. Okay, Frank gave up on the cheesy one. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, he gave up on the, the cheesy one. This is just too strong for him. And uh, yeah, it is. It's got a really pungent uh, flavor, but usually I don't like goat's cheese, but I found it very delicious. Now these are made with potatoes and cod. Potatoes are something that I don't eat. But We'll do it for today. When in Lisbon, we're here for a short time. Might as well try it. Fun of a teach everybody. This is a little restaurant or cafeteria. They serve beer, as you can see. Tons of beers. And, um, or you can just get it to, to go like we did. Well, right next to the grand praça that we just visited are these Augusta, Rua Augusta arches and the entranceway to Rua Augusta which is a pedestrian cobblestone street with lots of shopping, cafes and all sorts of things to see. It's a very interesting street. It's one of these major streets that you must visit. The important thing is that they are working for their income. <laughs> He's entertaining us. Augusta, which is reminds me of in Barcelona the Rambla, uh, with a lot of different uh, buskers around and so forth, shops, busy, busy, busy area. <laughs> That's why I think I got a sore neck. <laughs> Whiplash. Whiplash. <laughs> popular area where the shopping malls 
where the shop, the big shopping mall is here in the Basha. I Basha, think they would yeah. call this the, the Basha. Basha. Of Lisbon. So I guess it's Armen, the, so it's called the Ar Armezens do Chiado. So this is where we're going, which I believe is a shopping mall. Let's go take a look at what shopping is like. 55 loges. So 55, 55 shops. 50. And kids. <laughs> So, so 15 restaurants. restaurants. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty cool. I, that, that's where it is there. Can you see? This is pretty amazing. It looks like it might be just like any other shopping mall with lots of escalators and that sort of thing. But we'll just take a little walk so you know uh, where it is and what it's like. There's nothing more important than knowing where you're going. the entrance to the shopping mall we, we were just in. Well, that didn't take us very long. Here we are in Praça Louis de Carmões. Did I say that right? Carmões. I think I said that right. Um, and this tomorrow morning is we're going to be taking a free tour. Uh, and the meeting spot is right here. And so we wanted to make sure we knew exactly where it is. This is actually very close to where our hotel is. Uh, literally kitty corner. And this is a very popular location. We're going to be taking this free tour tomorrow morning. And I hope you'll join us next week. We'll share that with you. And in the meantime, let's go and head over to our hotel as our room should be ready by now. Frank is just getting our bags that they kindly stored away. And I thought I would take a walk through this lower level, this main level of this hotel. Um, it is quite beautiful. Take a look at this. They have a gym and a bunch of lounge areas in this lower level. And um, it's just fascinating. Love it. The hotel is uh, quite nice. It was very comfortable. Um, and very clean. What uh, we did find is that the rooms looked a little tired. We'll share that with you in just a moment, but I thought you'd like to take a look at this uh, area here. We're going to head up on the uh, in the elevator um, up to our room and we'll share that with you. Well, Frank's ready for me, so I better get going so I can help him with the bags. One for me, but it's 12 euros. 12 euros extra. The room is up there. Ah, what room are we in? 217. Okay, we're good. We're just waiting for the elevator. European elevators are very tiny. Just enough room for our bags and ourselves. Fifteen. Fifteen. We can put the key in the place so that the lights turn on. 
Yes, you have to put the key in the slot. Now, this hotel was very, I would say, inexpensive. So, let's see what it's like. There's our bathroom. Not bad. These are old buildings, so small little corridors. This is our hotel room. So it's not a big room, but it's clean. It's clean and it's got everything we need. There's Frank with all of our bags. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at Java Walker World this week. We are back next week, and here are some highlights on what you can expect next week. We take a great tour, a free tour, and we'll give you all the details on that next week. We'll see you on Sunday. And if you are on social media, you know you can find us at Java Walker World. That's at Java Walker World. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of that. See you next time. Thank you very much. So I just like to thank Juan here, better known as Fraga for giving us our walking tour of Lisbon today. It was. It was special, it was informative, but above all, it was entertaining. Very entertaining. <laughs> so I highly recommend.